Hello, and welcome to the Robin Sealark channel. Today is the second in a two-part sponsored series with Wix, my website host of the last five years. Our first video, I did a more in-depth step through of building a website for my old roommate, Wine Mom Jared, who started selling sustainable slow fashion. Uh, it was pretty exciting, but today we're gonna do something a little bit more relaxed. We're gonna reel it back and we're gonna take a look at my business, the heart of it, the art of it. We're going to make a few paintings that I'm going to be updating onto my website and we'll be talking about some of the updates to my career that you'll be able to see reflected in my website as I've been developing professionally how that affects the things that I put out on my portfolio online so let's make some art chat about it and get started if you are interested in starting your own online presence a website you can check out wix.com slash robin sealark linked in my description To make some work to update to the website, I'm going to work with a limited complementary color palette. I am putting white on my palette so that I have a little bit more tonal range. I want to see just how flexible we can get with only two primary hues. Starting a website was something recommended to us students in art school as a way to establish ourselves online, whether you're going to be freelance, making stuff and promoting your own products, or working with larger companies. You could be an illustrator, you could be doing more educational work, contracted work, but at the heart of it is gonna always begin with your art and building your personal brand and having regularity with consistently producing work, even if that is sometimes challenging the work that you think you need to do or should do. Challenging just like this are a reminder of the other challenges you face when you are adapting as an artist and moving into different parts of your career path. While I finish off this painting, I wanted to show you how to add this as a listing to my website. It's a pretty simple process. This is the back end, the dashboard of my store, and it's where I can add physical listings for paintings that I create. There's easy places to enter the title of your painting, upload images, here I already had my media uploaded, and by clicking on it, you can add it directly to the page. You can have multiple views of your painting, zoomed in angles, and going through, I'm gonna fill out the very simple information, my pricing, my description, and shipping information. This is only one painting available, so I track an inventory at one, and after that, I'm able to save it and immediately it's gonna appear onto my website as being for sale. This is a study, so I price it pretty fairly. There will be multiple pieces from this at romancelark.com. This is our first image done, but let's see what else we can do. I wanna move on to a second composition to see what else we can make. I kinda wanna make up some clouds, Mm. Picking up clouds might be hard. I hope I can do this. <laughs> while fear can be a major inhibitor while you start producing and exhibiting your work online, finding opportunities to grow your audience and share more of what you do is what keeps up the momentum to help you have a sustainable long art practice. You paint something, you join an art community, you speak with someone, you find new opportunities and you challenge what you think you're capable of, you accept contracts that feel bigger than what you're ready for. And as you do that, you can use a website as a one-stop place where you can always be sharing with other people the work that you're doing in its best light. I always love taking off the tape because it feels like the painting becomes this extra present. This is how my imagined clouds came out from our complementary colors study. It was interesting to make it from my mind. Something nice about this is when you have a product that is very similar to another, you can go ahead and duplicate that listing so that you have all the information already filled out from previous products that you've placed on your website and then essentially a shortcut to uploading that so you are ready to sell. I think for an added challenge, I wanna take a look at the swatch page that we made and see if we can turn this into anything interesting. Sometimes it's nice to just take something abstract or random, a squiggle, a doodle, and try to see what your brain can make of it. What if we just 
made a really odd sunset and kept playing with that. While my time lapse is playing out and I'm figuring out what to make out of this, I wanted to show you something new and cool about my website. When I first established my online presence, I needed a website, a place where I could have a gallery of work to show off my portfolio from different years, to sell paintings from, to share information about myself, and most recently I have added this page about my book. This is so useful for having a one-stop landing page for anyone who wants to find out information about me as an artist or get in contact, and now it's a place where I can advertise things like my pre-order incentives. So I was able to create a page where I have a contact form. If you didn't hear in my last video, I'm doing a giveaway of original paintings from the book for those who pre-order, the first one being November 14th. If I wanted to create a new page like my book, I would go into this area here, my site menu, and I can add a page. There's different page formats you can work with, so you'll just choose the one you want. Let's make this one a test page. And then I have a fully customizable page. I can replace images and text, add new features, delete things out. Say I needed to add a contact form to this like I did with my pre-order site. I could go into this add contacts and form and then there's a ton of different forms to choose from and if there's any information that's not already available as a field I can add a new one. For instance when I was doing my giveaway for my painting I needed to have people's addresses in case they win a painting and I need to send it to them. Because Wix is so accessible with drag and drop, you can change up forms, move things around, and customize it to your liking. With our orange and blue, we were able to mix a really wide variety of different hues. I have a pretty wide range of colors even just between the three of these. How do you guys feel about them? What are you most interested in? Did you like seeing one that was more fantastical ones that reference a realistic landscape. Have you guys ever worked in two colors? Have you done complementary color painting before? I am curious. Thanks for hanging out in my studio with me today. I hope you guys enjoyed a little relaxed look in the back end of being an artist, working on your business. I'm still setting up my studio. I'm not quite uh, in my space, but you know, as long as I have my online space, I do have a space, a website space. <laughs> Thank you to Wix for sponsoring this. And if you want to check out making your own portfolio or online store, you can check out wix.com slash Robin Seelark, linked in the description. And I will see you guys next week for regular programming. Thank you. Goodbye.